Hey guys, welcome back to Mafia 2. You know, I feel extremely, extremely good to be sitting here right now, being able to play this game some more. It's Saturday. Saturdays are usually my favorite days to game. I don't know why. I just like the vibes around Saturdays. And uh, to be able to be playing such a game like this just puts me in a good mood. So I'm really happy right now. And um, I just wanted to thank you for coming back in and uh, keep watching Mafia 2. That's from 2010, which is absolutely insane. You guys have been smashing the videos, so thank you. So last video, last episode, we found out what happens when you mess with Joe and uh, well, the Mafia family. So we went out to do some sort of job with Joe, uh, sell cigars or cigarettes. I'm not sure what it was, but I think it was one or the other for sure. And uh, we went into this block, which was just a bunch of pretty boys with really cool hot rides and stuff like that. And uh, they thought they were territorial and um, they were trying to bully us around until Joe said, nah, we ain't having any of that. Joe just shot the man in the face and he was dead. And then, um, of course, we lost all the cargo. They burned down our cargo. Eddie got extremely upset and I thought he was going to kill one of us. I honestly did because we saw on the last episode prior to the last episode, he does not play. He will bury your body in the trunk for like 12 hours and then bury you. So I was like, all right, somebody's going to die here. But uh, everything turned out good. I don't want to spoil too much of it. Just want to give you a brief description. If you guys missed the last episode, go check it out. Uh, we then had to steal the hot rods, um, sell them, get the money and pay Eddie back $2,000 because... That's what he paid for the truck full of, you know, goods that we were trying to sell until they burned it all down. It's been great so far. I, this game is amazing. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Today we start with chapter nine, balls and beans. Yeah, Uptown, May 6, 1951. It's a good, good morning. Ugh. Phone is ringing as per usual. You know, I haven't really seen our sister in a while. Ever since we got out of prison, we saw her husband at where we used to live with mom, but we haven't seen her. Hope this is her. Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. Oh, snap. It was my Sunday. Oh, so it's Sunday, okay. We're gonna have to pull out the uh, leather jacket. Wait, not, no, not that. The casual suit and raincoat. That's what we gotta pull out. The gangsters. All right, let's head out. Let's get out of here. Let's see what's going on today. Wait, what? If you don't open the door, we're gonna open it up. Hey, 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 hey. You know, maybe you belong to a family or something, so I'm just gonna keep it cool. This lady down here is just cleaning her floor. <laughs> Somebody above her is really not about to get robbed right now. <laughs> All right. So we got to head over to Joe. Now, he did say we need a nice set of wheels. This is definitely not a nice set of wheels. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can find ourselves a nice set of wheels. Maybe a nice looking car. Oh, what? Yo, <laughs> relax, bro. You are about to run me over. Look at this little cute car right here. What is this? That is really cool. Okay, I don't think any of these cars are like fast or anything like that, but uh, I'm gonna go for this one. You know, I'm literally just gonna lockpick this. They call me the lockpick master. Ah, oh, damn it. Here we go. Nothing happened. Nobody saw anything. This is my new car. Call it the husband wasp, was it? I don't, I don't know. Oh, of course, of course. I think this is fine. May not be the fastest, not hot rod fast, but it's nice enough for now. I swear, the next really good car that I find, I'm just gonna steal it. That's just the way it's gonna be from now on. Now I, I just got this car, and it's already all banged up. I know I can fix it later on, but. Jesus, I wanted to show up in style. See, this car is really nice, too. Okay, let's go. God darn it. All right, this car is a little bit wobbly <laughs> on the stability of driving. But uh, I, I guess I guess this, this will have to do. There we go. It's got some good top speed. Everything's A-OK. -okay. 
I don't know what's about to go down, man. It's it sounded pretty serious. There's a cop right there to my left. I've got to be uh, careful. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we're going back to uh, Eddie's place. I wonder what happened. This is exactly where we met up with Eddie last time to give him the money. Yep, he lives in this really... Well, I don't know if this is where he lives, but... I know it was around here. Actually, never mind. We passed it. Or did we? No, yeah, it was right here. Yep. Right here it was. All these places look alike, man. I'm sorry. There's a really nice car right there, so... Maybe we'll need to leave on that one. I don't know. Hey, Anyways. Up, man? Hey, shut up. I'm going to shut up, too. Let's get into Morning, it. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Oh. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Godino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. <gasps> so it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Oh, yeah. Balls and Beans. Beans is Carlo's accountant. <laughs> if he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Ciao, ciao. Wait for Luca outside Freddy's. Outside of outside Freddy's. Okay. So we're going to head out. We're going to need some firepower. We're definitely going to need some more guns. Um, hey, put that gun away. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, sorry, guys. Sorry. Now, I guess we're going to have to go to... Let's go to this gun shop right here. And this is good because I know That's some of you were telling me to go to gun shops and buy, like, good weapons and stuff like that. And uh, this is literally the perfect opportunity. Now, I don't know if this is actually, in, in fact, a fast car. It's not like I've driven every single car in the game. It's a pretty decent car. But I don't know if it's the fastest car. Anyways, go to the gun shop. Don't mind if I do. How you doing, sir? Hello? Come on in and take a look around. All right, we got uh, 1911. Magnums. Shotguns. I might. Do I have a shotgun? Don't be a dumbass. I don't have a shotgun, so. Oh shit! He pulled out. A <laughs> you looking for something special? Yeah, let me get a shotgun. They'll probably just rob that from someone, but uh, it's okay. And how about a revolver? Do we have ammo here? So shotgun ammo. There we go. Yes, sir. You need some repairs? Um, bought some SMG ammo. You want me to take a look at that for you, boy? Every weapon is legit. I right, can so guarantee select ammo. it. Hmm. Where's the other ammo? Buy weapon, ammo full, ammo full. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we can buy. How about back here? Can we go What's back here? your deal? No? All right. I think we're set. I do need some SMG ammo. As you can see, I only got 20 and one. I don't know what's up with that. We're full on the Magnum. I mean, on the pistol, the 1911. Is this a 1911? I think it is. Yeah, we just need SMG ammo. But anyhow, that's fair enough. We're good with that. Of course, as we go killing people in this mission, probably we'll be able to uh you know replenish ammo as well so since it's on the way we're gonna head over to uh you know a nice little 
clothing store and pamper ourselves really well, look really fresh and gangster for this mission. So uh, that's where we're going. Buckle up, boys. It's gonna be a bumpy road. This is cool. We we now met Falcone, which is the the head of the mob here for the family we've been dealing with. So uh, this uh, should be quite interesting. All right, let's go in through. Where's the store entrance? Is it here? No, it's through the other side. I'm gonna try and leave as much raw gameplay for this video. Just ooh, that car looks nice. It's because I feel like this is all important. Good morning, sir. Hey, how you if doing, you like sweet what cheeks? you see, let me know. Okay, what do we got? Leather jacket, raincoat, suit, casual. Hmm. You know what? I like this black one. Will that be all? Ooh. Look at us, baby. Let's freaking go. Woo. Looking sexy. All right, well, I thank you, ma'am. I don't think there's anything else here. All right, casual suit and hat. Raincoat. Leather jacket. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Shirt with trousers. That's the only thing we need, Take probably, care. besides that. Now, maybe, uh, maybe I should try and steal this car. There's a cop around here, man. Gotta be careful. There's a cop on that side of the... God darn it. You know what? I was gonna steal that car, but there's a cop there. I don't want to be doing any dumb shit. Dude, there is literally a cop right there. Maybe I can go over here and steal this one. Should probably try and steal another one. But this is pretty much the same one. No, this is not the same one. All right, let me wait for this cop to pass. Please don't tell me he's gonna cross the road. Keep going. There's a cop right there. Keep going. Keep going. This is a cool, cool freaking. Look at us, bro. We're looking pampered as fuck. Oh. Ah. Damn it. Ah, shit. I'm nervous. There we go. Look at this, bro. Tell me we are not in style right now. Don't even tell me, because I know we're in style. Look at the swagger. <laughs> I don't know if this is fast. This probably isn't. It's just luxurious, but... Uh, oh, God. I'm already banging up my car. Shit. We've got the red bleeding interior with the white. Oh, Lord. This is looking good. If I show up to any mob boss, I'm, I'm bound to get respect for the swag I carry right now. Just got out of prison recently, and we're already looking better than ever. Maybe we should go to prison again. <laughs> Every time we go to prison, shit just... This oh, look Luca's at that car. car. Now, where are you, Luca? Oh, look at that car. There you are. This little bitch. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. That's the guy that got pimp slapped by his uh, boss, remember? Yeah, we gotta be careful. He's got a nice set of wheels though, man. Holy cow. Don't wanna get too close. Okay, he made it right here. That is a nice car, dude. That is probably one of a kind. I don't think I've ever seen that car before in the game. too close you gotta be careful okay that's joe's house to the left we're going up riverside so we gotta trail him and go to wherever he's going and see if he says anything see what's going on this little son of a gun he's the one that was acting up all gangster remember right before we went to prison for the second time and then his old mob boss came and slapped the crap I don't know. He was acting gangster to Henry. Because first we thought it was first we met Joe, and then Joe introduced us to Henry, and then Luca. Riverside. And Henry introduced us to Luca. And then uh And then that happened. He got slapped up like a little punk. Ooh, interesting. He made it right here. Huh. Interesting. This is a junkyard. Booski's junkyard, maybe. Nah, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. 
What is he doing in the junkyard? Okay, he, let, he didn't go to the junkyard. I was about to say, holy cow. Almost there, guys. Just gotta be careful. I don't wanna get spotted. Wait, isn't this where we... This is Clemente's. Slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. All it through here. Oh, this is this is funny business, bro. Sewer. Maybe that's the way in. Looks like I can pry this off. Shit, let's go. Yo, this game is too cool, bro. Oh my god, let me take a quick look at my boy right here. Beetle, you're one sexy ass gangster. Jesus Christ, that reeks. You know, believe it or not. I do feel like Grand Theft Auto would make a really good game if it were like during these times. I don't know why they don't. And usually they, they do like modern day gangsters, which is fantastic as well. They've done amazing. But imagine if they really went down and did something like this. Shit, that dog could be a problem. Maybe they have. I don't know. I'd have to kind of sit down and think. But right now, ain't nobody got time for that. Right now, we're here in the sewers. I just bought a brand new suit. Who the hell told me to buy a brand new suit to come to the source? Oh, oh, there goes my suit. God darn it. This is a magazine right here. What is this? I'm going to kill somebody. Oh, oh, whoa. Another pair of. Uh, <laughs> I got to be careful with these mags. Hold on. I got to write this down. I'm going to get demonetized. A pair of bunch of titties on my screen. Keep going this way. Okay, we found a ladder here. Use the ladder. Oh, there's a dog right there. Bro, oh, look at this guy. Oh my lord. Would you shut up? What? Is somebody there? There's nobody there, see? So shut up before we turn you into meatloaf. Lousy mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Oh my god. So how do we... How do we... Where do we go from here? Okay, time to move. Find a way to sneak into the slaughterhouse. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what happened to my jacket? <laughs> All right, we're good. Let me through here. Don't shoot, or guys will be killed. Okay, he's sleeping. I forgot how to take down enemies. Okay, so save your guys, find out where they're being held. Hey, who's the little guy? Don't know. Oh my god. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, I that one. Okay, so are we supposed to go in through there? <gasps> I'm assuming going through here. Oh, I like this sneaking around shit. This is good. Hey, what was that screaming? Nothing. One of them pigs must have squealed. What? So, uh, nah, you no still pig. thinking about that quitting? Sounded like... that shit yeah, is. probably next that month. Alright, we've got to be careful. Okay, I want in cover press maybe, you know, while moving in order to move around a corner. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, look at the pigs all freaking opened up and stuff. And we humans really are criminals. It's so messed up. I mean, making some pretty good shit, but, uh, damn. Shifts over. You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beef stick. Don't make me say it again. Shifts over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Hmm. Are we gonna have to take this guy out or what? Okay, they're leaving. Let's make sure these guys don't spot us. Maybe we go through here. Oh, I see. Uh, be right there. Oh shit. Oh god, this is the door. This is the door. Think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcon thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on. How'd you get it into the sticks? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You want to end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with this, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> it's it's just a question how we're doing to be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop over him. there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what what is Captain Shipbag here to save the day? Shut he the doesn't fuck remember up, us. Hey, <laughs> I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. Oh! You don't know that I got boxing lessons in jail, bucko. Yeah, that guy's not going down. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, here we go! Can't take a beat, huh? Oh shit, oh! Come on. Come on. We've done plenty of this. Plenty of this in jail. Let's go. Just getting started. Getting my health back up. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Mm. Come on. Mm. <laughs> mm. Come on. Come into the light so your buddies can see you get your ass kicked. Mm. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, bucko. Come here, Luca. Oh, wait, this is not over yet? Oh, no. Oh! Oh no, now he's gonna escape. Let's go. You fuck with the wrong guys, assholes. Uh, get me down, will ya? Dude, this is insane. Thanks, okay. Vito. We owe you. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Damn, dude. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. This is okay. balls. Okay, just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas. All right, well, let's go find Luca. He cannot rat us out. If the other guys find out about us. Fuck you. You missed it. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad. This is probably going to get us into the family, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I died. No, that's definitely not gonna get us into the family. Not Come on, bad. bucko. Not bad. 
<laughs> All right, Vito, let's get that little fuck. Oh, we got Tommy gun ammo. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. Here we go. Yeah, they are. This guy's still with a big cleaver. Well, oh, they're all gonna die here. Here they come. Oh, God. They did. Woo! Hold on. We got this. Come on. <laughs> oh, Luca, you are done, buddy, old pal. Why are you guys still hiding back there? I thought you were supposed to come inside. You backing down? You scared now? Messing with a messing with a real gangster. Nice shot, kid. I think there's somebody in here. Yep, you did. There's two more. Kill him already. Come on. One more to go. All right. And that's nice it. job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Oh, we can knock, close knock. the gate. I don't even Come know on. that. Let me in. Maybe we just break the door, like, shoot it down. Okay, how the hell? Shit. I ain't gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a, like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Fucking smart, huh? Go ahead, try. Son of a bitch. What's he doing over there? <laughs> Come here, you fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now, you I'll fucking show you what it feels no, like. Wait, no, 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 no. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have a little fun with Luca before I grind him up. Wanna join me? Thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass. It's the same blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. Well, what if he survives? You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. <laughs> well... Guess what? We're gonna steal this car. It is now ours. This is our new car. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Yes. Oh shit. This is too cool, man. Alright, how the hell do we get out of here? Um you know what? I'm gonna use a truck to ram that shit. I have no idea how to get out of here. And then I'll use that car. <clears throat> Ow. And then I'll use that car to leave. Oh, okay. So that doesn't do anything to the car. Never mind. I thought we had to smash through the doors. One of those. All right, well, we're good.
Dude, hell yeah, bro. Look at the swagger. Oh, bro. Woo. All right, let's keep it going. I knew, I, I mean, I had a feeling we were going to go ahead and take this from him. Of course, after we killed him. <laughs> gonna have to change the tag or something maybe we could even change the color although i like the black with red it looks really really fancy now we've got the suit to match it everything's looking perfect i don't even know where we're supposed to go now we're supposed to go back to joe or back to we'll see eddie okay so we're gonna go back to eddie and possibly of course falcone and see what they they gotta say about all of this i'm just i'm just happy that i got a new car honestly i could care less what they say i am super pumped this is gonna be my go-to car now for probably for the remainder of the playthrough because this is in fact the nicest car that i've seen and if we ever get bored of it we can just you know customize and change the color so far everything about it is just perfect i'm just gonna do a little bit more driving with it ah! there goes my car got Damn it. It's okay. I'll fix it up later. It's just, uh, it's part of the game, if you will. Yeah, but it doesn't look so nice now. <laughs> and normally I'd probably skip me driving over there, but I feel like, uh... Wow, look at this. No, no hood now either, huh? Jesus. Sorry, cops. Please don't stop me. This is so nice. Holy cow. I wonder what a car like this would go for nowadays. I would say a lot. Oh, God. Those are cops right there. Pull up right here. Oof. Right at the entrance. Like, what up? Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, because he smells. She's going down on him. And he's going, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was that you? Vito? Oh, Jesus. Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead, but balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh, interrogating him when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's whoa. bodyguards hey, who ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? <laughs> it was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. I just, My God. I just bought them. Jesus. More like she should change your clothes. Really? Five thousand? Oh. Okay, so are we supposed to go back home or? Alright, let's go back home and see what happens. Change your clothes at a clothing store or at your apartment. Um, I'm just gonna go to wherever this thing is telling me to go to. So there's two spots. This is the closest one. We just bought these set of clothes too, man. Holy cow. Oh, well. I guess it is what it is. Now, is this my apartment over here? Or is this just a clothing store? Oh this, is a, oh, this is a different one, though. We've never been here. Get out of the way, dude. <laughs> man, I just did a car wheel. Oh, wait a minute. This is a much nicer one. Oh, this is luxurious. This is like the real deal. Oh, please, sir, be quick. You smell like the Limburger. Okay, hold on, hold on. So we've got leather jackets. We've got tailored suits. Tailored suits and overcoats. Hmm, how about I buy, a, I buy a couple of these? Let me buy that jacket. Let me buy that off you. Take that off your hands. Look at that, looking suave. Okay, I'm going to buy some more because I got the, the money. The finest clothing <laughs> available, if you can afford it. 
Girl, I just I just did the craziest shit. You would not believe what I just did. Looks great. A sharp suitor. Look at this. Yeah, I don't think you can beat this swag. Let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, we have a uh, shirt with trousers. I think we should try one of these as well. Here Just to are. have it, you know? Let's we'll see what this is all about. <laughs> Alright, now we've got a shirt. At least a separate Take shirt. Take care, sir. And please come again. Let's go upstairs. Can we go up? No, it's closed. Alright, so can we change clothes? Like if we go to the dressing room? No? Okay. But now I've got uh, a good amount of like separate hey, up, man? types again of clothes. Soon, so I guess that's good. But my car is still there. I'm going to put this in my garage and uh, claim it as my very own vehicle. We're going to head out now. We'll go back to our apartment. Funny how the, the NPCs, they just drop their purses and roll over and do all sorts of crazy things. It's also crazy how I just get in front of the cops and they don't do anything about it. our apartment here I believe oh I gotta get back ah, I didn't know I was coming back oh snap okay hey Vito you made it hey Eddie oh nice threads thanks so uh, what's the plan fellas what's with the suits Vito Mr. Falcone is going to bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're going to be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we got to do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, oh, good shit. to see you. What are you doing here? Let's go. <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here. Have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing... Whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? Wow. But you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figured Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside... I recommended they take you in, too, when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. Dude, you don't gotta awesome. say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. God damn, man. I what was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. You are like two school kids, I swear to God. Dude, I should have gotten more dressed right, up. Wait here. I know this. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Oh my God. Hey. Good luck. Dude, I, I should have kept my other clothes on. I hope nothing happens to Joe. Can you imagine? All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, oh, shit. this is Vito Scaletta. <laughs> Let's get... Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family or God or your country if I ask you to kill your own brother you must do it show me which finger would pull the trigger repeat after me Vito if I were to betray the secret of our way of life. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico nostra. 
Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. Wow. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending You're almost seven years in a can. You see, where Same I grew up, if you the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally protection. be somebody. Wow, dude, that was like insane. This has been, I thought the last episode was awesome. This has been so much better than any other episode. I mean, obviously this is us now just doing our thing or I think this is us doing our thing. Yeah, <laughs> that was so cool, bro. That was insane. Wow. I was starting to wonder, damn, when, when the hell are we going to freaking, you know? When are we going to get into the family? Well, here we are. We just got into the damn family, bro. Insane.